I'm Claudia, and two years ago, I found myself at a fork in the road. Not only literally, but in my life, I chose the road less traveled and fell in love with freedom, so much so that I am currently renovating my tiny home on wheels so I can live as a nomad all over this gorgeous country while I discover what I'm truly made of. After many delayed shipments, I have finally received the tools I have been waiting for to start my cork flooring installation that I am so excited to share with you in this video. Today, I'm gonna start the process of installing my new flooring. Ah, 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 now, now. And today, oh my gosh, I am beyond excited because I get to install my flooring. Not the day. Why do planes always fly when I'm about to record something? <sighs> I have started this video, I don't know, several times. I am doing my cork tile flooring. And I... I just swept the floors and I vacuum. I want to make sure there is no dust or anything that I need to worry about because the first step is going to be applying the glue all over the floors. As I understand the instructions, <laughs> I'm going to put the glue on the floor, let it dry, and then I'm, I'm going to glue the back of my tiles, let them dry, and then just place them. <laughs> It is that simple, but I am so afraid. I have no experience. I have never done anything like this. After doing a lot of different type of measurements and dif different formulas, and even displaying the tiles in different ways, I decided to just start from the edge of the front door steps. This is gonna be my point of the beginning. I'm gonna make sure with a leveler that this line is straight. I already know where my middle is, my center. So my plan is to start from this point, line the tiles up like this, and make my way into the rest of the areas. One of the tools that I was waiting for was the J-roller. I looked for it at Home Depot, and not many people knew what a J-roller was and the purpose of this in case you're a newbie like me is as you set a tile you add pressure so the glue makes better contact and there's also this type of roller that i also bought because the j roller wasn't arriving in time and it serves the same purpose i kind of like it better because of the shorter and uh, wider thicker handle over this skinny handle I'll try both, but I, I do like that this one is rubber. This one may be rubber, but it feels more plasticky. Also, you know what? I'm going to go inside and I want to show you another tool that I bought, but it's too hot in here right now. So the other thing I want to share with you is the making of my tools arsenal. As you may know, or if you don't know, I'm a total rookie. I have no idea about tools very much. I am learning though. And as I learn, I am making my own tool arsenal. And I am so excited to show you an oscillating multifunction tool. And I found an amazing deal. That's why I bought it. The one that I used before, the oscillating tool that I used before, it was a borrow tool. And I don't really like borrowing very much. And also, I am gonna make a lot of things on the go as I travel. And this multifunction tool has many options for accessories. Oh yes. Oh my goodness, I love this. I love this, you guys. Oh, I wanted something like this that is just a bag. I do have a hard cover one, but for some reason I wanted something like this where I can just collapse it and have all my tools inside. So I really like this bag. Inside it has pockets. Look, pockets. Oh, I think I'm gonna trade my hard case one for this one. 
Ooh, I like it. I like it, I like it. Also came with all of these different attachments because it's a multi-use one, right? Ooh, a sander one. I know I'm gonna be doing a lot of that. It also came with a battery charger and also it came with a battery. I mean, it was a kit. If I find a link for it, I'm gonna put it in the description. Oh my goodness, I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, it feels so good. It feels so good on my hands. This is the M18 battery style. So it's gonna fit any M18 battery for the Milwaukee brand. I'm gonna play with it and figure it out. But this I'm gonna to use to cut the tiles and cut most anything actually, because it has, you know, different blades for different materials. But I really like how light it feels. For me, you know, I'm a little person. Oh, you guys, the things we're gonna make with this. Oh, it's gorgeous. I used to get excited about jewelry. <laughs> how life changes, huh? Now I'm excited about tools. That's where I'd rather spend my money, tools. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Oop. The tools that I will be using are a bucket for the paint, roller to add pressure to the tiles, my new wonderful Milwaukee oscillating tool, one roller for tiles, one roller for floor. Of course, my wonderful tiles and the glue. I'm shaking it, making sure that everything is mixed, very well mixed, because it's been sitting for a while. Don't forget your gloves. I know this seems like nothing, but it is everything to me. I'm gonna start with this much. My goal today is to apply the glue to the floors, let them dry, apply the glue to the tiles, let them dry, and then install them. And what I wanna do is install the whole tiles first, and tomorrow, the ones that I need to cut. I have never worked with contact cement before. My first impression, seems uncomplicated. It doesn't have a strong smell. So far, so good. I just wanna make sure that everything is very well covered. I may even do two coats, I don't know. The first mistake I made already, I started from the entrance into the inside area. So from the entrance in, which is not a good idea because then I can't get out of here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start from the most interior area, which is right here. And I'm gonna make my way from here out so I can leave, I can leave the room and let it dry. So make sure that you start from the farthest point in all the way out, otherwise you won't be able to get out. <laughs> For what I read in the instruction, it's important to remove any little piece that you might find on the floors because they can create a little bump on the tile. So I am removing little speckles of carpet that I see here and there. Make sure that everything is very, very, very flat. Make sure that you leave yourself some room <laughs> to avoid this some room to uh, reach for whatever you need. Ooh, like tiles. <laughs> I have moved my operation outside. I already put the glue on the floors inside, they're drying. Now I'm going to put the glue on the back of the tiles. And for that, I have moved my operation outdoors. It is too hot inside and I need to get going. So this is my shading spot. I have a tarp. A very handy little tool is to have this 
Oh, water spray bottle. I changed sides because the shade is moving this way. I selected the initial tiles. Now I'm gonna flip them over, apply the glue, let them dry and start setting them down. They also say make sure that you cover the edges very well, so I'm going to make sure to do that. And I'm not wearing my gloves, but I should. Okay, this is a big deal to me. Huge, huge. Okay, let me see if this edge is straight. That looks pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. I think I'm just gonna do <gasps> My first tile, you guys. My first tile is down. I'm not gonna press it I put this one and I'm happy with what I see. I tried to wipe the the inside because sometimes I drip a little bit of glue on it. Ah, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. Okay, Claudia, yeah, chill. Right there. Right there. I want them to be super, super close so I don't see gaps. Okay. Gosh, my two first styles are down. And now I'm gonna press them. Wow, you guys, this is huge to me. I know it doesn't seem like a lot. Doesn't even look like a lot. But it is a big deal for sure. Now, my goal that they stay where they belong. Okay. I'm gonna try this other one. This seems something way more comfortable. I think I'm gonna be using this one the most. Because with this one I can get very close to the edge. I like it better. All right. Two tiles down. All right, they're not going anywhere. Okay, let's go the next and the next. Yeah, this way is good. This way is good, 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 good. I don't like but the tiles do line up so I guess I'm, yeah, I'm gonna have those little tiny gaps wow now I can step on them and keep moving in 